It's time, guys. It's time. The second part of this Final Fantasy VII Rebirth demo has just landed, and we're going to play it, guys. We're going to play it for you guys. I'm going to react to it. I'm going to enjoy every part of this demo. Please, if you enjoy this video, give it a like. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Let's get me to 400 subscribers, guys. And thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed already. You can hear the music. You know it's going to happen, guys. You know it's going to happen. Right, let's jump into the game. The demo, we should I say. Dawn of a new era in Juno. We'll play it on easy, guys. We'll play it on easy. <laughs> hey, check it out. Oh, Remember, this is after the Mithril Mine. Just then. Guess so. Hmm? <sighs> well, I'm gonna be thinking, then. Quite see. Massive though. That city they're headed to. Is that look Shoot. at high wind? Look at Shoot it. Territory. Come on. Oh man, this is absolutely awesome. Look at this. Cloud and Company's travels have taken them all the way to Junon's doorstep. Junon? I call it Junon. It's Junon. <laughs> I need to learn how to pronounce these things properly because I've grown up with Final Fantasy VII from the PS1 when it first came out. It didn't have any voice acting or anything like that. So over the years, I have just learned to pronounce stuff the way that I have. And I've always pronounced it that way. But now we have voice actors and obviously the internet. <laughs> yeah. They tell me how to say it. So I've got to learn how to say it. Right guys, so it's just telling us about the team composition and also pressing the uh, pad for the map. Create a battle party by pressing start to enter the main menu and choose combat settings. Let's do that first, guys. Hop onto a chocobo and explore the world. That's what it's asking us. So we're going to press start options. We go to combat settings. Now we can look at their skills here. Uh, also, while I'm on the ground, as well, they've got skills here. Cloud, Red, Aerith, that's the team. We've got Barrett and Tifa on the sidelines. Now we're going to keep. We'll have Aerith and we'll keep Red. I'll tell you what, we'll keep it as it is. We have different loadouts for teams. So Cloud, Red, Aerith. Press R1. Cloud, Barret, uh, Barret and Barret. <laughs> Cloud, Barret and Red. And then we're going to have Aerith and Tifa with Cloud. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. Now we've also got the synergy abilities there as well. You see the synergy abilities? You've got their faces next to each one. So bodyguard and bodyguard. Unlearn oh sorry, that's, that's something else. Wild charge. I think we will place them. And howling smash and spell blade. Okay. We're level 21 in this at this point in the game. Please remember guys, so uh, you do not carry your um, your progress over from remake. You start from scratch here. Um, so if you're trying to level up on remake and then thinking you're going to go in with all that stuff into this game, I'm 99% sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> I'm going to keep it at that 1% just in case I am wrong, but I, 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 I'm pretty sure I'm right. I'm right there, guys. Right, so now we can jump on a chocobo. Press R1 to pull your chocobo to the current location, then approach it. Right. Okay, so I didn't press any button. I just I just approached it and it jumped on. That's that's fine. And when he smells treasure, he'll have a little question mark above his head. Nice. Let's see what we've got here. We've got an abandoned ship. Ship. Uh... 
let me think what's over. What would be over there? This is Mithra Mines, so we would have gone past Fort Condor. That would have been Fort Condor. <laughs> There's a story about a great condor said to roost on an island's abandoned reactor. So it was. So there's no longer any way to reach the, the island. Or at least. Oh, so we got stuff here that we can pick up. Nature's finally reclaiming what Shinra stole. Well, we do it while we're on the joke. If we could get there, I'd rather not bother. Yes. While exploring, you will find raw materials that you can transmute into useful items such as accessories and pieces of armor. Okay. We can do it from the main menu. Agree. I know this one's up. Item transmuter. Potion. Okay, so we collect items and we can create these things. There's a cushion here. As you can see on the right hand side there. We can make mixed potions. Oh, we're going to hold it down. There we go. Uh, let's make a normal potion. Now we've got. It tells you how many we've got here. Okay, that's cool. Oh, wait, sorry. And then if we press R1. Okay, these are items and accessories we can make. We need craftsmanship level 2. There's lots at the minute. This is on the to do list. So we need to find items to get rid of these four. So we've got two of them. Let's focus on where we can go. Can we run? Okay, I'm holding R2. Loads of, loads of materials here. Is your man here? The rogue people. Not Rob. Oh, right, there's loads of stuff here. Maybe this is the added stuff that they uh, they mentioned here. I've done a video on this bit, guys, because I managed to play this in London last year. And basically, little chocobo chick here. You find these little chocobo chicks, follow them, and it will lead you to a place. How do we jump off? Circle jump off. Oh, down the bottom. Dismount. R1 is to dismount, guys. So you follow it, and it will take you to a chocobo stop. Uh, pick up the chocobo stops here. This, you can use this to fast travel as well, guys. Chocobo stop is now working in, is in working order. See? Okay. We look at the map here, the Chocobo stop is now there. Guys, I wanna. Should we do it? Should we do it, guys? Oh, we can only zoom out so far. Here's the Junon cannon. Oh, it's all covered. It's all covered, guys. So we got Fiend Sighting, Fiend Sighting 2, Fiend Sighting 3. And then we've got been sighting four here. So what we're going to do? We started off here. We're going to venture this way, guys. So this is Chocobo stop. Down there is the ranch. What we're going to do is we're going to grab these. We're also going to jump off. We might as well, we might as well attack these. Okay, then. Yes. We get the energy on the deck. Let's see what we've got. We haven't got any synergy yet. Utilize an ATB command mark with uh, well, friend character synergy. Okay, so we've just got to use. Fireball, right? You're dead. Oh, on now. All right. In the background, there you go. See him in the background. Yeah, eh? He is still helping us out there. Even though he's not in our party, same with Tifa. They still help you out. Okay, let's jump on the chocobo. See, we jump on the chocobo, they will get their chocobo as well. Look at Red! And also notice this, guys, because she's wearing a dress. We have Aerith. She's sat sideways. I did a TikTok about that when I saw that in the trailer. Uh, Red, Red just looks—it just looks so awkward, but also cool at the same time. 
Alright, let's look at Tifa and Barrett. See what Barrett's doing. Barrett is one handed, obviously. Tifa is. Yeah, she, she's normal. Okay. <laughs> little cool little details like that. GG Square Enix. GG's. You can't go over that mountain. That little mountain. Scale of these monsters here. It's got something out of Yu Gi Oh! Alert! Alert! Dangerous being detected in your vicinity. Please ensure you are prepared before engaging. <laughs> My sensors are picking up some understandable confusion. Oh, who's this? It's a pleasure to meet you, Cloud. I am your personal monster assessment instrument. But since that's a mouthful, you can call me Mai. Chadley programmed me to assist you by providing detailed analyses of the fiends you encounter. I hope I can be of service to you in the many battles ahead. With that out of the way, I'm picking up unusual fiend activity nearby. Got got a hint to of Chadley the biological in data that we require, you'll need to complete specific objectives during combat. But don't worry, because I'll be here to help you succeed. Good luck. So we've got objectives while we're in combat. Hygiera the enemies read this. Like a, an enemy, people or enemies within the time limit. Within the time limit. Hygiera's addition to the animal kingdom coincides with the advent of Mako. This timing is likely no coincidence, as Mako Energy's adverse effect on creatures is well documented. Mako Energy excavated rather recently, however. The animal is still not in Hygiera. We need to do this in yeah, a certain amount of time. Let's switch it up. Let's red. Let's see what Red's got here. Red can definitely take down enemies with his razor sharp claws and bang a square to swipe the foes. Hold it down. Uh, triangle is vengeance mode. So with the cloud is punish it. doesn't now it has this ability needs two lines so if you can uh, understand what I'm trying to say there you see the blue lines next to their face so Cloud's face here has one blue line the ability here tells you how many blue lines the character needs um, so they both need two both need two so we can't do any of these movements <laughs> make the most Aerith is adept at long range magic attacks. Press square to unleash magic attacks capable of hitting more targets. Hold down square to charge the temper skill. Press triangle to instantaneously walk between any magic ones. I'll take care of this. One more shot. Cut. Cut. Let's see what I'm feeling. Really Do a um, 
Ah, uh, okay, so that's just for this fight. Is that just for this fight? It's asking us, we can retry it. Uh, we're not going to for this one, guys. We are obviously going to try and do the full package when we um, when we fight other month. We cannot go any further in this demo. Interesting. <coughs> you can in the actual game then. What's that? Oh, it's time for us to go again. Okay. Right, let's jump on. Look at, look at the water. Look at that. collected quite a bit of stuff, so let's see if we can transmute anything. So we can create some mist potions. Uh, no phoenix downed yet. Craftsmanship. Craftsmanship, we're now level 2. So, we can actually... No? Okay, we need level 3s. Level 2s are here. We don't have any, everything yet. This is talismans, obviously, it's an accessory. Being nosy, guys. Why not, eh? looting guys no matter what game you play always be grabbing the loot that's telling us the chocobo can walk and can climb up there reunion finally getting to play it There. He's going to direct us to a fallen checkerboy stop. Down as well. 
another point here. It's not quite far away from the other one, is it? Right, guys. So, you're probably shouting at your screen now going... Not doing that, but like, actually going... You missed a load of stuff, Villa! Well, I was only on a detour, guys. So obviously up there is that fight number one. I mentioned that. I've got more birds here. I've got that big bird. Look at the size of that bird! Completists. For me, that is me. That is me. But I'm, uh, I am just running through the demo here. I don't want to go through every single detail uh, on this because you guys can do that when you guys play it. Move the medals. Still got them in this. You won't. I 
stop is now working. Do we heal if we sit down on the chocobo stop? Many chocobo stops built in the days of the Republic have fallen in. In poor condition, but you can use a cushion, you can sit down for a rest while they fully replenish your health. So that's why we make the cushions up. Please, oh, note, you can only fast travel to chocobo stops once you wrangled the region's chocobo. Ooh. Got a cushion. Let's rest. That's good. So you've got to, you have to have the item so you can rest out in the in the world. Check, check, look at him. So, what do they mean by wrangle? We've got to we've got to find someone somewhere. Say, why don't you go to collect a choker? it down. Okay, so you hold down up. And you go over to it and press down. There it is. That's pretty simple. We've got four rubies. Four rubies in this game. Right, let's keep an eye on the trigger right then. Oh. Can't go through that. There was a wrench down here. Well, look at that! Another Chocobo Ranch! I wonder where the owner is hiding. Get over there. Let me just investigate the Chocobo Ranch. We've got a vending machine here. Find music from here as well. Vending machines offer a variety of useful items that will aid your Wind materia. Wind materia is on sale. We'll buy that. Uh, we only have one lightning fire. We need more than one. We're gonna mix this up. One. We've got wind, we've got two of everything. Three healing. Cushions, we've got ten now. Potions, high potions. Okay, nice round number. Talismans. Effectiveness, okay. I guess we should set the equipment. So we've got Cloud, Cloud's best record. We can change what he's got here. So he's good. Uh, we can't change the weapon or the bangle. Earring, but she's magic. Earring is magic. Yeah, magic power by five. Yeah, we'll have that. Bulletproof vest increases vitality. We will increase your attack. Not using 
these just yet. So we're going to add them into here. Uh, morph. Uh, morph's on here. We won't be using morph, not in this demo anyway. Disempowerment, modification material. Look at all this stuff that we've got here. Comet. Yes. Uh, wind. Okay, so we'll have wind. So there's healing, fire, and we want to give him lightning. Lightning would be one. Okay, so what summon have we got here? Ramu. Orb. Look at that orb. The summon material. Look at it. Okay, so we've got poison. Of course we have poison. We have poison. Uh, fortification. Allows you to do physical and magic defense strength and spells. Pairing with the Allows you to use physical and magic attack. So we will we put, put Comet here. Is that linked? I don't think that's linked, is it? Yeah, so that's what needs to be here. Uh, we need that. Exactly what that means. Um, I don't know what they mean, guys, but we are obviously just playing a demo here, so we don't need to have a full set out. We can, like, we can. Spare change. Right, so we want uh, HP up. First strike or MP. Red hasn't got healing, so let's give him some heals. Can we have a look? We've only just got Ramu. Prayer. Prayer is awesome, guys. Allows you to absorb an alloy's limit gauge to fill your own. Oh, <laughs> so Aerith. We could probably steal that from you. We'll have MP up for you. I'll just use wind magic, healing. Uh, I'm going to give you lightning. Mm. We're going to have lightning. Let's give you fire. Okay, we're going to steal that from you and give that cloud. So he can have uh, limit breaks. <laughs> uh, also, guys, by the way, when you're here, can set your loadouts and press triangle here and you can set your party leader now if you don't know anything about this guys this party leader is you will always be cloud here you will always be cloud here but as soon as you go into a fight whoever you set your party leader to it will automatically shift to that person so I'll explain in a, uh, I'll explain a lot better than that. I mean, it's pretty obvious that is basically self-explanatory. But when we go into our next fight, it will automatically switch to red. Now we have red as a party leader. Let's grab some stuff. Let's grab some stuff and then let's speak to um, let's speak to your man down here. Her, let's speak to her. Business is booming at our one-stop fashion shop. Great. So here we can just kit out our choker boat. We've just got Shinra stuff for this. Sure hope Gabe starts pulling his weight soon. Yeah, Gabe. Is this Gabe? This ain't Gabe. Junon's Chocobo Shut Ranch. Up. Perhaps you were already aware, but the Chocobos here are raised on a diet of feed, seaweed, and fishbone meal. Unsurprising, given the local industry. We can develop material. Hold on a minute, is that taken out of crisis core? Fire and ice materia allows you to use fire and ice magic. Use fire and So we don't have to have fire and ice, we can have fire and ice and then we have the option of using one of each here. Lightning and wind. I don't own any of these. Spend data points. 
You only have 10 data points. Combat simulator guys. You remember this from remake? CCS. Series of three person battles in which you pick your team, engage in sim uh, simulated combat to reveal the power dynamics of the region's most territorial themes. Oh look at this. And obviously, look at the rewards we're getting here. We do a beginner's hall. Will it let us? This is another way of how to teach you to uh, be in battle. Yes, we do it. Barrett doesn't have any. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't have any material. Oh, what have I done here? This should be alright without me too. Round one. Fight. Press square. R1 is block. Circle to dodge. ATB gauge will gradually fill over time, but landing attacks will make it faster if you fall up to ATB gauge. Okay, so this is number wave three. It's hard three to lock onto a specific target, such as airborne enemies, although difficult to draw a bead on due to their speed. Use R to switch targets and press okay. That's what we're doing. Get your hands out of here! Switching to a different character will sometimes provide a advantage in battle, so you can continue to join the same character. So, we can switch character, and we can. So we can go here, and instead of we're, we're Barrett now, we can tell we can tell Cloud what to do. That is also in remake, so. Certain abilities such as clouds, triple slash, and deepers, focus lights can be used to take down foes in mid air. Combat map with that. That is what I needed earlier. Okay, brilliant. Not all your party members can fight airborne. I'm telling on you! Barrett deal with that because it's, uh, it's a flying one. We didn't get the ATB enough, uh, quick enough. Wave 3. This is all about blocking a bit. It's enough damage or exploiting the enemy's weakness will place an enemy in a pressured state. This will happen. Help them with magic and abilities to quickly kill the stack of gauge. Focus through uh rest uh to make a shot and see the focus strike and put in the fight game, especially when used on a pressured Did way too much damage then that we didn't get our ATV. Is that it? Look at it! So, this is just training, guys. We've got HP up then, which we can probably give to someone else. Uh, we're not going to do them all, though we should. But we're not going to do them all. We want to see. I gather what from your expression got. that you're eager for more. What else I can't we've got help but wonder this demo. I don't want this demo to be about five hours long, because it really can be. <laughs> so, let's have a look. Right, so. Uh, 
don't think. Maybe if I get rid of wind. I know we just bought another wind, but let's get rid of wind and we'll have him as uh, another HP. There you go. We'll meet next. So many fascinating possibilities. Thanks, Chadley. <gasps> it's cool that you've um, you picked your characters on your party. So I've got the three here: Red, Aerith, and Cloud. But then you also got Tifa and Barrett still hanging around with you. Right here we can kit out our chocobo as well. Tell us we can have different helmets, different breastplates, and different reeves. I'm not seeing your man though. Gabe. Do some, should we do some? Um, we did number two. We do number one. Number one was down here. Let's leave him alone. Will he jump down? Okay, go over. We've heard a lot of great data, thanks to you. Well, we got the coins. That's 
that's how we got the point, sorry, for... There we go. For buying stuff like fire and ice. Most excellent work, Cloud. Did that battle prove a fitting test of your prowess? <laughs> your dissatisfied expression says it all. Oh, yes! I noticed that as well. You aren't equipped with that functionality. Anyway, with the data from your latest bout, I created a new virtual combat trial. It will prove a real test. So I guess we do all that. Once you get all that, you can redo them again in this simulator. Right, so I want to look at the uh, material stuff. It's not going to be in depth, but it is going to be a. We're still going to look at stuff um, that they're going to give us. So we've got fire material here, but we also have fire and ice. So I'm going to use that cloud. Um, we've also got. Uh, let's use it for. We had lightning and wind. Lightning and wind. So we're going to have this. Thunder and arrow. We're going to have that for area. Done that, one. that was number one. Nothing else to grab. We did number two. That was number one. We did number two, and we've done number four. So we need to find number three. Can't go over there. Cool, man. It's these guys. It's gotta be these guys. Oh, guys. These are. These look like the uh, the ones they get white wind from. Zamzalet. There we go. are known as the sages of the skies. Not only because of their intelligence, White but wind, also their remarkable feathers that make them enemy skills to learn. These feathers have been Why prized by all the other cops since the antiquity, where their feathers are presumed to be the most valuable. Their feathers slice through the air so quickly that they are capable of using even solid stone. It's on you. Oh, they cannot be transferred by their abilities that you lose focus. Yeah, we didn't prevent them from taking flight during that move. Nice! You've successfully completed all Junon combat assignments. 
Oh, is something the matter? Perhaps you're fatigued from your battles? Then allow me to provide a massage. And how do you plan to do that? Why, by way of resonance, of course. I can use my gorgeous vocal vibrations. Ahem. <clears throat> like? So <laughs> wow. All right, Mai. You've had your fun. Now then, your latest triumph has allowed me to create a new combat trial. I hope you enjoy it. More stuff. More stuff. Hey, look at that billboard up there. Join the fight. Keep our world safe. Now recruiting. Stamps on it as well. Stamps there. Look at that billboard. Beautiful, man. That is beautiful. Right, okay. In that case, we go to our destination. Which is here. Angler's stowage. So all of this is Junon? Everything above us. Below is under Juno. Little more than an impoverished fishing village. Vegas. Shinra's always gotta have someone stop them. It's their friggin' MO. Yeah, so I got to play some of this demo during the uh, the MCM Comic Con in London. Uh, thanks to Square Enix. It's only about a 15-20 minute version of the demo. So I kind of recognize a little bit of this. Oh, of course we want to grab all this stuff. Before we do anything, let's see if we can transmute anything. So we can get a phoenix down. A antidote. Oh, we need a marjoram. We need a marjoram to make a cushion. We can still create stuff once we've done it. Like this. Uh, remedy. You still can't make a cushion. And then as you level up, you can transmute more stuff. We can't do these yet. But we can do this. This is cool. I'm just uh, I'm just wasting it really. To be fair. Okay. Uh, how is their health? Their health needs to be. Um, shall we swap? Put Tifa and uh, edit party. Put Tifa and Barrett in. I feel like that's the more aggressive. This is more aggressive. This is. Um, should we have Tifa as the party leader? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. We'll have that. And in that case, we need to swap their material. The cloud's there. So we'll give Barrett's heals HP up. Uh, sorry, uh, HP up. Lightning. And oh, we give him lightning. That lightning. He doesn't need that lightning. Um, let's have that. And then what? Uh, what? What? Yellow. Oh, comet. We got to give him comet. Let's give him comet. Okay. So Aerith Red. I'm gonna be there. So Tifa. We need her to have a heal. We also need her to have a lightning material. So he's got fire and lightning. Poison, barrier, oh no, barrier. Limit, siphon, because I want her to have her limit breaks. Uh, first strike, morph, steal, assess. We'll probably use assess for the sake of this demo. No, we won't, we won't. We will use uh, poison. Right, I'm happy with that. Cloud needs... He's got fire and ice. Uh, he needs... Lightning. Yeah, we took lightning off him, but we, he needs it. He needs it. And... He hasn't got wind. Ooh. 
Ooh. Let's do that for the sake of this demo so I don't have to keep swapping him over. Auto cast. And he's going to do fire and ice. Or fire and or ice. Okay. Let's go, guys. Don't jump down. Who's this lady? One moment. Welcome to Under Junon, our sunless oasis. My name is Rhonda. I'm the mayor and sheriff around these parts. turn you in and be a hundred grand richer for it will she, will she turn it in <laughs> well you know what they say can't take it with you hmm. Hmm. and Aerith to boot huh that's another half a million on top <gasps> half a million <laughs> so happy happy with a bounty down here though we know when to turn a blind eye. Consider our lips sealed. <laughs> Sorry, but I call bullshit. Well, I don't think you would, if you knew even half of what my town's been through. You don't like it? Leave. But, over there, there's a quiet little inn, where everyone's welcome. Place, guys, we're under Juno. There's the inn. Help! Somebody, please! Help! We gotta go now! There's a monster Follow attacking the boat! This, too much. this better not be a This way! Oh, Down yeah. here! Oh, right. Did I? I don't think I heard it. Each of the, yeah, I didn't hear the uh, cloud. Let's just do it anyway. OCD and all that. Follow her. Thanks for waiting while I did that. Quickly, <laughs> please. You won't regret it. <laughs> I could have saved myself with them potions. Well, anyway, just having a quick sleep on the bench. This way, down here. Bad. Quickly, okay. please! Uh, uh, help! Uh, Somebody! Uh, Let's 
themselves in close range combat and using combat to do damage. Unbridled strength and use temporary enhance. That's what we want, that's what we want. Assist from the dolphin. <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh, guys. Okay. That was awesome. And now we've got the Tifa Sephiroth Aerith background. 
Thank you for playing. Thank you for watching. Thank you, guys. Let me know what you think of that. That demo could definitely be stretched out. We can do a lot more in the early part of that demo uh, before we actually go up them steps. So, uh, oh, man, that's so awesome. 29th of February, guys. 29th of February, this game comes out. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I am so hyped. This is, like, unbelievable. Um, I can't wait to make YouTube content on this. Stream this on Twitch for you guys. I will be promoting this everywhere because this is so important to me in my gaming journey throughout my life. So, press any button for one more sneak peek. And while I do that, you press the like button because you've got this far, you must like the video. Also, I'm sure you've subscribed already. I've told you a couple of times. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. I would appreciate it, guys. Here we go. Lost the Del Sol, that was. That's not Judah. Oh, he's Judah. <laughs> oh, nice. Look at the outfits. Different chocobos. Look at the colours of them. I don't think we can breed them today at this this game. Oh, the little buggy. Tiny Bronco. Phoenix. Alexander. We've got Alexander on the first playthrough of Final Fantasy Seven OG. I missed it. I missed it in the first one. I didn't, I was, didn't know about the hot screen. Energy abilities, obviously Yuffie's with us though. He's riding red. And there it was, the first step on our new journey. You coming? Oh uh, yes. I'll be there. Will you be there, guys? Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Awesome, awesome, guys. If you haven't played Remake, you can buy the twin pack, which is Final Fantasy VII Remake and Rebirth all together in one pack. We've got the digital deluxe here one guys, we've got the mini soundtrack, the art book, you get the magic pop summoning material, the armor orchid bracelets, and the accessory reclaimant choker. And you can just buy it on its own, or you can buy it with the digital deluxe options. Obviously this one here is the twin pack digital deluxe. Guys, 29th of February. How hyped are you? I'm so hyped, I'm so hyped honestly guys, this is the biggest game for me. I uh, thank you Square Enix for making this. This is part two in a three part series of creating a new version for Final Fantasy 7, which for me, I played it so many times on so many different platforms, but I originally played it on release day on the PlayStation 1. So guys, again, if you haven't already, please give the video a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I honestly really, really appreciate you giving me your time and joining me while we looked at the demo for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. This is the new era, and it was it was so good, guys. It was so good. It was so good. Um, also, don't forget to check out this video as well. I have loads of content on YouTube. I'm a variety creator. Until next time, I will see you on my next video. Take care. Goodbye.